Uh, you know, I just want to start off. I, I don't know how you don't thank our Hokie Nation for coming out like they did. Um, sell out crowd and white out, and they were there start to finish. You know, the support's been awesome. We tell our guys to ignore the noise, but also to recognize, you know, what a great fan base we have. And that was a testament of it tonight. I think they were a factor in the game, a factor in the win. So I appreciate them very much. We all do. Just really happy for everybody in that locker room. There's so much sacrifice and investment. You know, there's been a lot of adversity. There's adversity in the game. I'm just really proud of everybody sticking together, staying the course, trusting the process, and, you know, they get to enjoy a victory tonight. Open it up for questions. Brent, we've asked you a lot over the two years what you want this offense to look like. Is that what you want it to look like, that the balance and sort of dynamic quarterback play? Yeah, let me say, I thought Tyler called a great game. Um, committed to the run, and it wasn't always pretty. Some of them were no-gainers or minus yardage, but you know we invested there. I thought the run selection was the right selection. I thought the misdirection plays, the shots, the screens, um, Really did a nice job. I thought there were some, some gadgets out there that loosened up defenses, and I thought he called a really good game, and I thought the guys executed well, particularly Kyron. You have many more guys who can make one-on-one -on -one plays this year than you did a year ago. How much does that kind of open things up when you have guys that can do that? Yeah, supporting cast is pretty important, and I think tonight's a great example. You know, from Bayshaw to Malachi to Daquan Wright to, uh, to Jay Lane to Steve Gosnell to Quan Felton. You know, there's just plays, uh, you know, kind of spread out throughout the offense. And, uh, you know, not to mention the, the runs that Kyron had and the throws he had. And, um, you know, so it, it certainly made a difference. You've talked about playing complimentary ball this season. Uh, what more can you say about the defense outside of their two big plays to hold them 38 rushing yards, two of 10 on third down? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, you just said it, right? I mean, we, we've obviously had issues with our run defense, and I thought we were much closer last week, I said. You know, a couple of explosive, but, you know, 41 attempts for 1.8 a carry. So we were closer, you know, and, and that's good film to evaluate and to show the guys. They see them you know, the success they can have. So I think they put it all together tonight. Chris called a great game. I thought the biggest thing outside of Fitz was we tackled really well. You know, there was a, a play or two there where maybe not, but for the most part across the game, we tackled well. Dave. Brent, after his, <clears throat> after his fumble, Kyron came to the sideline and you immediately greeted him. And it looked like it was very encouraging. It didn't look very animated or angry. What did you say to him, and how did you feel he responded? Uh, he obviously responded well, but uh, I just told him this is what we talked about. You know, you've played so well, and uh, this is just one play. You know, you got to put that one behind you, and uh, let's get on to the next series, one play at a time. Um, you know, and, and he he's steady that way. He is. Uh, he, he's. It's so important to him. You know, there's, there was, I felt I needed to say it because I didn't want him to worry about that play any longer. You know, we need to move on. Back in the room, Anthony. Brent, kind of building on that answer, after they go up, or excuse me, they, they score twice in a row to cut the lead to seven. Um, how do you feel like the rest of the team responded in that moment um, by, I guess, not giving up and, and continuing to fight? Yeah, well, I certainly wouldn't expect him to give up. Uh, we've, we've, We've battled each and every week and fought back in games. And um, so we've been there. You know, it's a group that understands that. But uh, we talked a lot about uh, this week just, you know, making our plays and in the moment and making sure that uh, we do the job we can do. It doesn't have to be a magic show. You know, just do your job and the plays will come. And um, I think they did that tonight. And, you know, handling adversity, you know, it, it – it sure is tough when you got to go through it and you learn how to handle it, but I think we're, we're a better team for some of the tough losses and tough situations, and, you know, I think it showed up tonight. Back in the room, Dave. Brent, um, how much of the offensive success you had tonight was Kyron finding his groove in his third start, and how much of it was pure hunger from just 
trying to break this uh, losing streak? I think the, the whole team was hungry. You know, that was the sentiment all week. And, um, you know, anxious to go play well, to play like we're capable. And I think we were closer to that tonight. But, uh, you know, Kyron played well. He did some good things. I, again, I thought Tyler called a great game and a real sensible game plan uh, that made sense for who we were. But when you look across that offense and the plays that were made at varied positions, um, then secondly, I think the investment in the run game. You know, that was important. I mean, Bayshaw got the touches he needed to get tonight. And, you know, it, uh, it showed up. You know, it, it keeps a good defense off balance. And I thought it was just a well-called game. Brent, you mentioned the run game a little bit, mm -hmm. like the run fits. What did you like about just your overall defensive performance? I know you mentioned the tackling. You forced six punts. You get in the backfield, four sacks, six, six tackles for loss. You had that forced fumble. It just seemed like everything kind of came together today. Yeah, you know, I thought we played, uh, you know, we played well. We played smart. Uh, you know, I think we had some costly penalties out of some young guys today that we got to clean up. But, uh, you know, when, when, when you keep the ball in front and inside and, and you work like heck to fit where you need to be and the plays come, but uh, you do have to tackle. And they got some good backs. Those, those backs they had were coming into this game as some of the better backs in the league at breaking tackles. And uh, we challenged them that way. But, you know, I mean, your pride can only take so much. You know, they kept hearing about, uh, you know, the poorest run defense and the lack of run defense. And I think it was a, a good challenge for them. And, and I was very proud to see them meet it tonight. Um, over the three weeks, the relationship um, out on the field between uh, Kyron and, and uh, Felton, it seems like it's built up a little bit. It, um, is it just him getting more comfortable or uh, – what, did it take some time to kind of build that up? And, and also in general with all the receivers? Yeah, I, I just think that's, uh, you know, they are getting more comfortable with Kyron. But, you know, those guys, that was a great competition all, all camp. And, um, you know, those guys, Kyron worked with the ones in camp. And, you know, I think those guys understand what he's about, uh, just like they did with Grant. But um, yeah, I think, you know, Kyron's style of play and the way he runs the ball, and the passion he plays with and the effort he gives. I think uh, he's earning a lot of respect with our football team. Regarding the investment in the run game, it became apparent quite quickly tonight that you guys thought you could get stuff on the perimeter with the tosses. Pitt had been very stingy against the run. What had you seen on film, or was it something that you just thought your line was more comfortable doing? No, I think it was, uh, you know, we know we're not quite the team right now that can just line up and hand off inside zone all game. So, you know, when you can work the alleys a little bit, um, it loosens up a defense. And, uh, you know, the one thing about Pitt, I commented earlier in the week, you know, they, they're so good at what they do, and they don't do a whole lot. But at the same time, it's a little bit easier to ID maybe what you can have some success with. And I thought, again, I thought Tyler and the offensive staff did a good job of working into a plan that made sense early in the week that we could practice and give us the best chance to go execute it. We had our best week of practice offensively. Sticking with that, in terms of the offensive line, we saw Tootin make some yards where he was getting hit behind the line of scrimmage, yep. drones too. Where are you with that group, the offensive line? Yeah, I think we're improved. Uh, I thought they played more physical tonight. You know, did they play perfect? You know, no. Do we have to continue to improve there? Yes. But we got more plays that got a chance to get off the ground and get started than we did last year. You know, there's more plays where, okay, you know, we, let's, let's go. You know, I felt like last year and at times we just, we get beat too quick too, you know, you can't get anything going. And uh, we're giving ourselves a better chance. And, you know, Bayshaw and Malachi broke a bunch of tackles tonight, which you know, that's what good backs need to do. Sorry if you addressed it with these guys already, but he's a Richmond guy, so I need to ask uh, Jennings. We saw him on the crutches. Uh, what's the prognosis? Could he play again this year or is that? Yeah, there's still an outside shot. I mean, that's the plan right now. Um, you know, he wants, to, he wants to give it a shot, and, and the trainers and the docs are working hard with him. And, you know, with, with the way he is and his mindset, it wouldn't surprise me to see him make it back. Back room, Colby. Uh, congrats on the win, Coach. Thank you. 
sort of panning from that, how important is it having the veteran Jalen Lane come back and really just jolt into the offense and kind of make a younger guy like Kyron feel more comfortable back there? Yeah, it was great to see Jay make that play. And, boy, that was timely. You know, we had some adversity hit, and Kyron stepped up and delivered the ball. And, you know, I don't know what, what the issue was with the coverage there, but he was pretty wide open, and then he knew what to do with it. So that was a big play in the game. In that third quarter, from up 21 to just only up seven, kind of the blink of an eye, what does it say about your team's character and resiliency to punch back and respond and finish yeah, the way you guys did? Yeah, I'm glad you Yeah, I think it says a lot. Um, but again, we've been in some tough situations, and you know, I, I think they believed that uh, they stayed the course, they can come out on top of that thing. There was enough good things in that game that there was some confidence in our football team tonight. Coach Pry, you guys snap a three-game losing streak a nine-game losing streak against Power 5 opponents. This is your highest point total since you became the head coach here. Opening up with, an, with a, the ACC play with a win like this, what does it mean for you guys just moving forward this season? Yeah, I, you know, I, obviously it means a lot, just being 1-0 this week. You know, I mean, it's, it's good to get a win. To me, the talking point is over a good program that's won an ACC championship and done good things and played great defense and pride in running the ball and pride in being physical. And I thought we matched all of those things tonight and then some. And, um, you know, they're banged up, but we're banged up too. And uh, I thought we did a great job responding and preparing. And, you know, it's uh, – but, again, you know, there's going to be things on that film tomorrow that we're looking at and saying we got to get better here. Let's go be the best team we can be this weekend. And if we do that, we'll have another opportunity. You had – Two instances on fourth down where you were in field goal range both times. You went for it and picked up first downs. What was your thought processes on those? Do you just like the, the spot that this offense was in in those situations? Yeah, that was a little bit the mindset going into the game. You know, we wanted to be aggressive. We wanted to, to have the football. We wanted to win time of possession. You know, they were going to run it. And uh, I didn't know, uh, you know, I, I, it, our team needs confidence. And to me, there's no better way to earn it than showing them, hey, let's go get it. When you got a bunch of offensive players saying, coach, let's go, let's go, let's go, you know, you, you got to give them an opportunity. And this, the second one, I, I don't know if you remember the play specifically, it looked like drones sort of rolled out. Was, was he going to a second option down the field? It looked like they maybe jumped yeah, the guy coming out yeah, of the backfield. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly. Is that the one that uh, was completed to, uh, to Steve? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure what happened there. Yeah, but again, when you got uh, when you got a quarterback that's nice on his feet, doesn't panic. Um, you know, I, I thought he did a nice job several times tonight, extending plays and giving us a chance. Thanks, coach. All right, thanks everybody.